I'm standing in the road with this fork because today you have a huge, massive decision to make. Which path in your fork, in your road, do you take? Do you take path this direction or do you take the path that's leading to this direction? How do you choose which way to go? Live happy, fun, loving, and carefree. So what do I mean about the fork in the road? And I'm in my driveway now. The road's behind me there because <laughs> I thought it might be a little bit too dangerous to stand in the middle of the road, even though it's just a, a country road. But uh, it makes more sense to be a little bit safer here in the driveway. But today, Today you are at a huge fork in the road because you've been given a gift by this pandemic that most people in that have lived, you know, normally in life, we don't get that that gift, that choice, that perspective. And 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 what am I talking about? Is I think the the point that makes it the best is it's a silly movie that's just a you know comedy funny movie called Overboard. You know about this super debutante rich woman she loses her memory falling off her boat and near the end of the video excuse me movie near the end of the movie they're in the galley and her butler handler person I believe his name's Andrew he says most of us live our life with blinders on that we only know that one little station in life that we're born to and and that's how we live our life and and quote you madam have been given the rare opportunity to step outside of your bounds and and see life from a completely different perspective and how you use that information is entirely up to you and that really makes the point of where we are today, that you have been given this massive, huge opportunity that normally people don't get. And I mean, pretty much everybody has had the opportunity because the pandemic has, has been widespread. But for most of us here, you know, like especially in the United States, and see, that's why I'm not out in the road. <laughs> that would have not been fun. But um, the perspective that we've been given is that, you know, we've been forced out of our reality. That, that most of us were born to our family. We don't get to choose our parents. And our reality is shaped by our parents and our relatives and how they live their life. And I mean, even as silly as what shows they watch on the television to what kind of school we go to, to what kind of job we get. Our, our entire reality, we go through life with blinders based upon that position that we were born into and into our lives. And most of us just accept that. The job, the school, the whatever. And a perfect example, I just read about this the other day, is that there was um, a woman that was a flight attendant. So prior to the pandemic, she was a flight attendant. And I'm assuming she enjoyed her job as much as you can enjoy any kind of job. And, and she was just doing her flight attendant. She showed up at the airport every day and got on the plane and did her flight attendant job to the best of her abilities. And that was her reality. That is the blinders that she had is that's the world that she was living in. And then because of the pandemic and being non-essential and limiting flights and that, she all of a sudden had no job. And for the first month or two, she, you know, stayed home getting, you know, we all go through that kind of, I can't believe this is happening to me sort of thing. And, and she finally accepted the reality that it was going to be a while before she could go back to work as a flight attendant. And she felt she had to do something with her life. She couldn't just sit around the house all day doing nothing. She started cutting hair. She started cutting hair for her friends and her neighbors and family members. And fast forward to today, she has an entire beauty salon with, I, I think she had six employees, five or six employees working for her. So now that 
the economy is coming back up to speed and, and things, flights, it's really a busy weekend, you know, people are flying in planes, she could go back to her flight attendant job. But she has had her blinders taken off. She has seen life from a different perspective and she's running her own business. She's running a beauty salon with five, six employees. There's no way she's gonna go back to being a flight attendant. It doesn't matter what kind of bonus they offer her or how much more pay they offer her. She's not going back. And that's just true of all kinds of people today. I'm sure that's something that you're thinking about and that's the fork in the road. Do you continue on this new path that you were forced into or do you, pardon the term, circle back <laughs> to the life that you had before and, and go back to doing what you did before the pandemic? And, and it's, it's fine, it's not like one is right and one is wrong, it's just the fact that now you have this vision of, of two different lives and, and you have to pick what you want to do. And that brings up a, a book that I really enjoy. It's a few years old now and you can go look it up. The book is called $100 Startups. And in the book, I believe the term they use is unexpected entrepreneur. I like the term unintentional entrepreneur, but in the book they use the term unexpected. And it's just like the flight attendant person that was thrust out of her job, her career, that she just figured she was going to probably do pretty much for the rest of her life. Mm -hmm. And she unexpectedly became an entrepreneur and now she's got her own small business. And in that book there's just story after story of people that had careers it then for whatever reason, and there's all different reasons, became unexpected entrepreneurs. And, and I've shared that about myself in the past, is back in the 1980s, I had a corporate job going to corporate America on a salary and thought I was doing really well. And I unexpectedly didn't have a job when they, when they shut the business down. They sold the division to a, another company in a completely different state. And so they, they closed the whole division down. And I unexpectedly became an entrepreneur because I said that was never gonna happen to me again. So that's the kind of thing that you wanna think about, like the flight attendant, like the book, $100 Startup. And there's just so many people today that are taking a new path in their lives that they didn't expect. There's a company Tractor Supply Company. You may have heard of Tractor Supply. They're a rural lifestyle company. They sell, you know, dog food and cat food and chicken food and horse food and goat food and all kinds of farmy types of supplies. And they sell things like kayaks and four-wheelers and, and, you know, chainsaws. And, and they have clothing, Carhartt clothing and things that they sell. And I was reading again the other day that their sales are way up this past year or so. And interestingly, it's millennials, if to use that, that term, is, I don't care for generalizations, but the millennial crowd, the young folks, is, you know, flocking to tractor supply because they're leaving urban living and they're moving out to suburbs and they're moving out to the country because I mean, the reason young folks are in the cities is because of all the lifestyle activities that would be there, restaurants, museums, plays, all the activities that you can enjoy living in a city, and they're all closed down. So it's kind of like, what's the point of living in the city with the cost of living there and everything? I might as well move out to the burbs or the country. And the desire to be a little bit more self-sufficient on their on their own Bonnie making her appearance again so you know having a garden maybe having some chickens and doing things like that so people are you know tractor supply sales are up quite a bit because of the fact that people in the city particularly young people are moving out to the burbs moving into the country a rural setting like we're in and they're interested in 
chickens and goats and horses and, and dogs and gardening and all of that type of thing. So that's something that you know you want to think about is how is this going to impact your life. So right now today you're at this fork in the road. I'm sure your life has been impacted by the pandemic and you know whatever kind of, of job type of thing that you were doing and maybe you were working from home wearing your nice dress or sport coat and tie with no pants on and <laughs> and your dog laying at your feet kind of thing or your or your kids running around um, being being kids because they're home from school homeschooling and you're you know doing your job from home is what are you going to do now are you going to circle back to your life the way that it was prior to the pandemic or are you going to take the fork in the road that charts you onto this new course it, it's just a decision that you have to make so Watch this video because it'll help you with some more decision making that you're going to do. And if for some bizarre reason you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button because I want you to be living happy, fun-loving, and carefree. Whichever fork in the road you take.